beautiful people watching and welcome back to your favorite show on a Tuesday called Generation C. My name is Marisol Stofberg and I am very excited for today's show because this show is especially just for you guys. We have a jam-packed episode ready for you. Um, this show specifically aims to give you some insight into our The Zone publication, which is a publication that comes out every Tuesday in the three daily newspapers of Namibia Media Holdings, Namibian Sun, Republican and Algemeine Seiten. But before we head straight into our news for today, please watch the following video to get some insight into the brand MyZone. for today we have the wonderful West Warrior. He is part of the West Dance Academy which he started as well. He is also um, known as the African Black Cat and he has more than 16 years dance experience under his belt. So he started the West Dance Academy in Vintuk in Katatura in the Havana informal settlements as a way of providing our youth with a platform for them to live out their dreams, chase their passions and find a way to constructively um, use dance as a way for them to grow. Um, but we are, of course, very privileged because he's also joining us in the studio. So after the next video, we will be having a very fun interview with West. So stay tuned. I studied medicine. I studied geology. I studied the Bachelor of Science. You start to heal people, touch patients, you touch lives, you save lives, you realize this is really what you want to do and you never get tired. Having graduated from the University of Namibia, I was able to open my own law firm and help people attend to their legal problems. Let's do the things that must be done and make it great. If you want to do it, just do it. That's what I wanted to do. So the sky is the limit. My unum, my pride. Welcome to everyone joining us and on Tuesdays it means we share the most exciting youth news and I'm very excited because with me is West Warrie mm -hmm. and he is part of the West Dance Academy in Vintu. They do exceptional work with our young dancers in and around uh, Katatura, the ha Havana informal settlements and actually throughout Vintuk, um, the work that they are doing can be seen. So Wes, thank you so much for taking time out of your schedule yes, to yeah. be here. Thanks. Mm. And um, so let's start off with giving us some background on the West Dance Academy, where it all started, what do you guys do, what can people expect from you? The, the West Dance Academy is a dance academy that is based on the Havana informal inform settlement mm -hmm. in Katutura. And it's a, it's a small dance studio yes. that is uh, helping kids. Uh, you know, there, way, there in Havana you can find kids dancing in the street yeah. with beatbox. And so now it's like a sh also a shade for them also to come and dance yes. and also experience them, them, themselves. Yeah. And it's also an, a, a place where uh, youth can also like also used to come and uh, also support each other like okay no this movement is not like that is like yes. this so that you can also now be hired for braai uh, besar and uh, party yes. so it's a it's a small studio that is based in Havana where it is my own studio so instead of making my own shelter uh, sh shelter for me to stay I also have a little bit of it for sharing also with the community yes. and it's a uh, just a bit in the dubbing side but it's a nice one yeah. where kids also come and say no mr wes you can you come and dance and so it's just a small one yeah. but it's a proper one for kids yes. yeah 
Um, I think what the academy does, what is so inspiring, is taking kids and giving them a platform to yes. express themselves. What do you believe is the importance of dance for kids, not only physically but emotionally as well? Uh, you know, with kids, we do a lot because some kids they don't know how to read, and uh, some kids they like, you know. For example, when I was young, I used to play on desk, playing drums, but yes. so I, I was not given a chance to explore, yeah. to prove myself to the teachers or to also for them they to, to bring my art to them. So it's also maybe also what is happening with also other kids yeah. nowadays, whereby some kids they also need to learn through books, you yeah. know, like just to read and memorize, then say it like when you are doing drama, yeah. acting. So also it also keep them remembering schoolwork. Mm -hmm. So, and also dancing is also one of the things that you can also express yourself through dance because, you know, at school, when you are happy, you do a lot of fun things at school. Also, yes. meeting new friends, seeing new people, you know, every day. So, and also now, it came to a point that some kids, they don't, they don't want to come to the dance studio because they don't, they have, they don't have tra dancing trousers, dancing costumes. So, and I'm also, like, going to friends and say, listen, if you have anything that is old that you are not using, yeah. share it with us so that I can also share with my kids at my dance studio. So at least for them to bring themselves like, out of uh, yes. out of the box, you know. Yeah. And also, sometimes we also g take parents to bring them to our dance studio to come and watch their kids. Yeah. Because sometimes <laughs> you need also to hide the parents behind something so that the parents can also look behind uh, the thing. <laughs> because kids are shy yeah. and we, unknowingly they do the, the best. Uh, after that, when you are surprising with them, uh, with their parents, they start crying. It's normal for us. Yeah. It's normal. It's just to build a uh, motivation, encouraging them and bringing them out of the outside of the box so that you can also teach other kids. Yes. Sometimes I also take them to different houses so that you can also go and teach other kids. Yeah. So they also uh, build motivation in them and exactly. courage also also other yeah. kids also know oh, wow Mr. West is taking uh, taking another kid who was the best in the class so now and it's also building them. Exactly. Yeah. Um, what type of dance styles, because I know um, at your academy you especially focus on those dance styles in and around the community um, that don't necessarily always get that much attention. Yeah, you know, the thing is that we are doing uh, this, this house mm -hmm. dance, this Afro pop, this uh, now I started teaching them uh, Zoom, uh, Rumba, and most of the time we focus on the traditional dance. Yeah. So the dance that we know. Yes. So and before we move to contemporary ballet, you know, kids, they say they love hip-hop, but they don't know what is the love of something. So you yeah. say, no, do me hip-hop. They don't. No, I don't know, but I love hip-hop. So <laughs> you start with the basic, you know, yes. start with uh, what we have at our house, what we have from our own community. Then we just start sharing it and building confidence, then saying, let's try contemporarily. Yes. So then from there, you just move and dance with them. Say, nice. no, wow, it's nice and slow, but Mr. West, can we just uh, <laughs> uh, uh, mix the, that dance with another dance? And you know, that's a... Uh, fusion thing yes, so exactly. which is which is good you know kids they love it but uh, now because of corona a lot haven't come mm -hmm. and now school started again now we are they having exam so a lot i'm um, like the balance is up and down yeah. but i love it because it's also a challenge yes, so exactly. but all the time they want to come sometimes they don't want to go to school because they want to come and dance but <laughs> i'm pushing them go to school if you don't go to school then you are not going to join us yeah. So now you see them early, like, just come and knock, Mr. West, we're going to school. I don't know whether they're going, <laughs> or I don't know, but it's, for us it's normal, you know? Yes. It's normal. Um, I think what's amazing is how you are giving back to the community and kind of creating a platform for our youth to mm -hmm. express themselves, but mm -hmm. in a constructive way. How important do you think that is for the rest of the community and organizations to do the same, to invest in our youth and give them opportunities to actually express themselves and explore their talents? There, there is one thing that um, I think all the communities are in need of mm. is value. Yeah. If you are giving to the community, that means you are value your community or yeah. that community. Supporting has nothing to do with maybe like you, you can support me, but once you su when, when, when you're supporting my community, yes. that's, that's, a, that's a, like, I don't know, that's a big achievement also for yeah. the whole community because the thing is that sometimes we look at uh, things, no, I want to give this one to a big name thing, but why can't you give to a little name, like a small name, a, a, yeah. a new beginning? Yeah. So that I always say, let uh, the big companies, let the big uh, names also find their names in us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Through the youth, like just a t-shirt written something, for us it means a lot. Yes, exactly. Me, I'm a dancer. 
and I'm a dancer by profession, uh, meaning that I'm eating from dance, I'm sleeping yeah. from dance. Um, I have no other experience. If you ask me, no, what ex other experience do you have? I would say, ah, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I don't know any uh, dance. dance. I just dance. But for me to dance and have a bread on table, on the table and other dancers they don't have, it's embarrassing. Because I, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not proud, no? I'm not proud of myself. I'm, I'm a dancer, but other dancers are not eating. Yeah. So I would be proud of myself when I'm installing the, my installation, my, my software in other, other kids, other youth. Exactly. So I, I'm an uh, installer. So yeah. I'm installing my dance uh, rhythm, my style in other kids, youth and adults, so that I'm, when they're moving, I say, no, that's me. Yeah. So that's how I want also other companies. That's how I also want other, other big names to, ins to install. There are softwares in, in us also. Yeah. Help us where we need, but where we need help. But I know for sure that in our community, we, because we are uh, in informal settlement, that we are marginalized. Like mm -hmm. we are not like um, having a lot of TVs, a lot of computers, a lot of technology things. Yes. But still, we have our talents. Yeah. Acting, location is also amazing. Yeah. When you look in the background, even when you take a selfie, so it's amazing to see a lot of those sharks behind you. Yeah. Now imagine when you are dancing and you have that background on you, yeah. just and you are dancing in front of that background, happiness and joy, but not sad, you know. Yeah. So we need those type of things. We need uh, motivations, we need books, we need uh, uh, workshops, different dance workshops, different workshops like cooking, yeah. uh, nails, you know, those type of things. So that the people say, I'm from this number of uh, this ghetto or this shark and my number is this one. If you want to come and do your nails, you come here. If you want to come and uh, learn, uh, there's a choreography, that uh, mass choreography, then you just come to that ghetto. Then you just learn through ghetto, then you have exactly. something amazing. Yeah. yeah. Um, your journey with dance started, started quite young. Can you yeah. maybe tell us about where your love for dance started the first time until where we are today? You know, dance for me uh, was, I, I don't know if it's, I don't know, as a kid you always jumpy jumpy thing. Yeah. <laughs> so now the thing is that, you know, I started when my, on the, around the fire, mm. I started dancing for my grandmother. So because every time I was naughty, you know, like <laughs> playing around the fire. So if, you are, if, if I call your name and you're not like uh, responding, then I come and uh, do oh, you with a uh, poke yeah. you with her uh, so now the thing is that the only game that i knew that my mother loved is me to see me dancing yes. i don't i don't know what i was dancing <laughs> so whether it was good or bad but you know when you are grannies they have the most amazing love yeah. she really like it and every night she say no listen west stand up dance for me i want to go and sleep oh. <laughs> wow for me that time like even a sweet for me was a huge amount of money yeah. So from my granny, then I just started dancing and I started uh, noticing that without my dance, my granny was not enjoying like being happy. Yes. So then I started making it work, making it work, making it work until one day then uh, the, uh, the principal at uh, my primary said, no, listen, West, we heard about your story. So can you come and dance for us? And, 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 and wow. you, know, you know, assembly point is like a big stage. Yes. Have audience that <laughs> paid nothing, and you know, so that's amazing. Yeah. It's an amazing pr platform. Yes. Then I started dancing for the school now. Going for tournament, going for competition. Then I started saying, okay, so I can be, maybe be a good dancer. Maybe, though I can't, I'm not a good, I'm not a clever student or a kid in the, in the class, but I'm good at dancing. Yes. So what must I do? I need to have a choice. If I pass school, that's a lucky shot. Yeah. But at least I have something on, on site. Yeah. So that's when I started like a, when I went to my high school in 2000, then I became a boss. <laughs> so because I know that in the, in the class, when I move, I move. So yeah. other kids also, because you know, in high school, everybody dance, they play soccer, they play netball, basketball. But the thing is that when you're good at something, you know. Yeah. So, you then, and you learn. need to boost it. Yeah. So that's when I started saying, no, oh, listen, I think this is my talent. Yeah. yeah. That's when I started taking it serious because luckily, or oh, I started speaking a little bit of English. Yes. So where I started communicating with Pep Store, saying, no, I just want to come there and do my promotion there, like just for school uniform promotion. Then uh, they pay me my school fee, like, uh, uh, how do you say, shoes and school uniform, the whole, wow. the whole outfit, you know? Yeah. So in case, you know, that was a good shot. Yeah. So like I just come and perform at bars. And, so while I'm young, you know, I was not allowed to go inside, but outside I was dancing. Yes. So it, it was amazing. Yeah. Then I started taking it serious until now. Like 
My best shot was in 2010 for Oyo, mm. Obeja Hinga organization, yes. and I toured with them. And uh, then I, I, I being motivated. Like that time I said, I will not go to, back to Opuo and sleep, uh, but at least I will s I wish the, all of those people that were, was with me in the class to study very hard and do their, their work. But yeah. for me, at least, I pray that I must dance so that I prove uh, the whole community where I come from, where they said, no, you, you will never make it. You will never make it in life with dance, with art. Art is nothing. Mm -hmm. So for me, now today, I'm something. Yeah. Something exactly. like, it, you can close your eyes, but when I'm around, I'm around. You can feel it. Yes. So. Oh, wow. It's such an amazing story to see how mm. if you find what makes you happy and you chase that, then yes, yes. that's all that matters. Mm -hmm. is, and then giving back and sharing that with your community. Yes, yes. And, and sometimes it's not about how much money you have on your yeah. account. But it is how much happiness you have in your heart. Exactly. And what are you bringing to the community? What are you bringing to you, the people in front of you? Like, yeah. I, I will have uh, like a maybe 1,000 audience or maybe 600 audience. Uh, so for me, all, about, all, uh, all I want is just to bring joy, yeah. bring the message to these people. Definitely. And to inspire like little kids, whoever. People must look at me and say, no, listen, I want to be like West. Yeah. But where I come from, people give up already. Sometimes they just give up at the young age. West, I wanted to be like you, but you know, it, it wouldn't work. Yeah. So, like, uh, for example, like, I've been applied for some jobs, and they said, no, West, you must cut your hair because we don't allow people with hair. I said, no. Yeah. My, hair, my hair is my well. money. Yeah. If you cut my hair, then you cut my whole, like, I don't have an account. Yeah. No, no balance. So yeah. what am I going to do? Yeah. So it's like, you know, my power is in my hair. Yeah. So it's better to me, for me to dance instead of having your job because your job is cutting something from out, out of me. Exactly. I love to dance. I want kids to dance. I want everybody to dance because everybody is dancing through walking, running, cooking, where, you know, eating is also yes. dance. Everything is dance. <laughs> yeah. So that's why I love dance. Wes, thank you so much for your time and for visiting us and sharing your story. I think it's amazing for the young people out there to see that if you find what makes you happy, and you chase that, then everything will be okay in the end. But thank you so much. All the best. And if you want to reach them, please go visit the West Dance Academy. They are doing amazing work. And we wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Visit us and support us. We are going straight back into our zone and our page three, one of our stories is a very important story for our youth especially. So we concluded our regional and local authority elections last week and it was exciting to see how many of our youth were taking to the polling stations to cast their vote. We also had an interview done here at Namibia Media Holdings with Rivaldo Kavanga of the Children's Parliament and he spoke about the importance of not only creating opportunities for our youth to step into politics, to step into politics, Parliament to step into positions in local and regional um, authorities and he also spoke about how you can be a leader in your own right you do not need a title you do not need a rank you don't need to be a certain age or have a certain degree or qualification to truly make a difference so next up we are sharing some videos with you of first-time voters across the country um, either before or after they cast that they vote so if you see your friends give them a shout out but also share your voting experiences with us but next up a very fun video your name is Catalina. And it's going to be the first time you are going to vote today? Yes, it's going to be my first time. Okay. Uh, what, what, what would you say uh, it's important for young people to participate and uh, making sure that their voice is heard? It's very important just to voice, to voice out in the community because we have to take the leaders that we want of our choices. We shouldn't just make excuses for them when they are leading like we are not so satisfied with them, but we no vote in it. No. Uh, what are you looking forward to today? And um, what are your expectations? And how is the voting process going so far? <laughs> so far, the voting process is going on very well. I'm just expecting to go on and vote as early as possible. 
Okay, with me here is Carl Philander. He is a former intern at the Irongo and he's also one of the former My Zone kids. How are you doing today, I'm Carl? I'm well, thanks, Leah. How are you? I'm good. Now, Carl, you're also a first time voter. How are you feeling today? I'm super excited. Um, it's new things to try out. Um, and I hope um, there are a lot of youth out there yes. that are voting as well. It's very important. And this is what. Uh, the adult life is mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. We need to take that step. And um, I'm super excited. I don't know what the outcome will be, yes. but it's just awesome to know. Awesome. Thank you so much, Carl, and all the best. Okay, with me here is Cassandra Sales. She's 21 years old and she's a first time voter. She's standing here in the queue at the Lagoon Chalets. Cassandra, how are you doing this morning? Very good, very good. Very eager to go vote. There we go. Now, please tell me, why did you decide to vote? Today. Because our country needed a change mm -hmm. and most of the people are sleeping in the country. They are too afraid to come vote. Mm -hmm. Now tell me, do you think the youth voting is very important in this election? Very, very much because you have to remember the youth are the people that are going to take over this country one day. Definitely. We are supposed to be the backbone of the country. Definitely. And definitely our young people should wake up and we should start voting and getting involved in the runnings of our country. So would you like to tell them that? That anyone yes. that's watching this right now that's not sure about voting and they have their registered, um, registered card, you tell them to come and vote. Yes, I encourage them they should come. Perfect. Thank you so much, Cassandra. Hi guys, my name is Kathara. I came here for as a first time voter. I met Moses van der Beel. For the, I, I came around 7 and I finished at Nine. But my line was very smooth. I didn't have any complications. The police were very controlling. They were doing their job. And as my first time voter, I would like to bring in, I would like to bring change to the community. Yeah. Thank you. So every week we have a very insightful feature that we choose a specific topic and we give you some more insight regarding the specific topic. This week, uh, my colleague Enzo Amwele wrote a story about depression, also known as the silent killer. So this a feature gave specific attention to things like academic perspective um, and how you can suffer from depression academically and emotionally as well. He also um, looked a bit about the symptoms and dangers of depression, but also counseling um, that is available to you, um, but also advice to students, especially during this time with final examinations and with the year that 2020 has given us. A lot of our students are suffering um, and this feature gives you some insight into understanding both yourself and your colleagues who might suffer from depression as well. And um, as also a custom, Every week on our page seven, we have our star teacher of the week. So this is a way for us to kind of give an opportunity to our teachers to share their stories with us. So uh, this week we featured Carla de Toy, who is a teacher at Vendik Afrikaans Privat School. And she shared a bit to us, uh, to us about how, why she loves te teaching, why she started teaching in the first place, what makes her different and also how she loves um, imparting knowledge on her students, but also giving them a platform to just be silly and do whatever makes them happy, but also learn constructively in the process. So next up is a video um, that Carla sent us uh, to give you some an idea of who she is. Hi, hello. My name is Carla de Toy. I am a grade 2 teacher here by Vinduk Afrikaans Private School. This is my greatest pleasure to be here with you, and I will do this for nothing in the world for you. And then you will learn my story in my sound. 